This video is going to cover homework assignment number 23. This is the second part of this assignment. The first one covered using the calculator. This is going to be sketching the graph of exponential functions. Now remember, you're actually not going to be sketching. You will be recognizing the graph in my math lab. We're going to have number bases. Remember numbers that are positive but not equal to 1 raised to a power. I've chosen the problem 3 raised to the x. I'm going to select some, prob some points and we'll um, use these to graph. 3 raised to the 0 power would equal 1. 3 raised to the first power would be 3. 3 raised to the second power would be 9. I'm going to skip this one. It would be off my graph. 3 raised to the negative 1 power would be the same as 1 over 3. Now these are my only points that I'm going to use. You're not going to need a lot of points. To graph this first problem and just see how this is going to look, I have 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 9, negative 1, 1 third. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is to watch this sketch and you remember the shape because that's what you're going to be looking at as you do this assignment. Now what we're going to do now without the use of a calculator but thinking back to sections 1.7 and all of our work with parabolas we're going to be remembering the shape. We're going to be using transformations as we work this problem. We're not going to be using calculators. Now as we do this, all of these are going to be based on this original problem, 3 to the x. If you have a negative 1 on the end, this is going to shift this problem down one unit. So I'm going to take my points and move them down one. 0, 1 shifted down one. 1, 3 shifted down one. 2, 9 shifted down one. Remember I told you to remember the shape? That's what you have. And in each of these problems, you'll be recognizing how the graph has shifted. My next problem is 3 to the x plus 1. Now remember, a number on the end shifts vertically. This problem is going to shift right one unit. Remember, opposite that sign, right or left. So I'm going to take my points from problem 1 and I'm going to shift right one unit. So instead of 0, 1, I'm going to shift right. Instead of 1, 3, I'm going to shift right one. 2, 9, I'm going to shift right one. And remember the shape. There's your problem. 3 raised to the x plus 1, that's not a number sitting on the end, we're going to shift left 1. Now again, remember those original points that we had. You have those written on your paper that you can pull up on the internet. Instead of 0, 1, I'm shifting left 1. 1, 3, left 1. 2, 9, left 1. Remember the shape. There's your problem. Now in problem number 5, we have a, a double shift going. This plus 1 on the end says shift up 1. The minus 2 in with x says that we're shifting right 1. Now here we go. From 0, 1, I'm shifting right 1. Excuse me, that um, I just misquoted that. x minus 2 is going to give me a shift of 2 to the right. So from 0, 1, I'm shifting right 2, up 1. My point was 1, 3. I'm shifting right 2, up 1. Point 2, 9. I'm shifting right 2, up 1. Remember your shape on every single one of these. We had another point that was negative 1, 1 third. I'm shifting right 2 and up 1. My graph now takes on something such as that appearance. Same graph, same shape. Okay, we're now going to change problems. Number six, I still have three as my base, but this time I have a negative x. 
Now I'm going to come back and just repeat those values from the from the other sheet. We had a 0, 1, a 1, 3, a 2, 9, and a negative 1, 1 third. Those were the points that we had. All I'm going to do is change the sign of x so that now my points will be 0, 1, 0 has no sign, negative 1, 3, negative 2, 9, positive 1, 1 third, 0, 1, negative 1, 3, negative 2, 9, and positive 1, 1 third. Now you notice that by shifting the sign of x, my graph now has flipped across the, the y-axis instead of the graph that did look like so. Now it's shifted and it's, it's flipped across the y. Now notice that changed the sign of x. I want us to look at one more graph. Let's suppose that we have e to the x. Now remember we've been graphing 3 to the x. Do you remember that E is approximately 2.7? So this shouldn't change much. If you want to get some points, let's say we have 0, E to the 0, anything to the 0 is 1. E to the first would be about 2.7. If we want E to the second, just get your calculator. You're going to do, remember, second ln, that gives you e raised to the second power. That's 7.38, about 7.4. That's an approximate. Let's try negative 1. Shift ln gives me e raised to the negative 1 power. That's 0.36. Now if we sketch this, we have 0, 1, 1 and up about 2.7, almost 3, 2 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and part of another block, negative 1 and up 0.3, about a third of a block. Now if you'll notice, this graph looks so much like our others, but remember our other graphs were 3 to the x. And this is just close to 2.7 to the x. Now this is the second part of homework assignment number 23. It is from section 4.2 in College Algebra, Graphing Exponential Functions.